Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the three ways that I use broad match keywords in Google Ads campaigns. And I'm talking about pure broad match keywords and not modified broad match. I'm gonna show you what the difference is, then I'll explain the three ways that I use pure broad match keywords. So if you look in this ad group I have open here with a bunch of keywords, this here is an example of broad match modified. Uh, because I have a plus in front of the word daily and the word office. So that basically means that the word daily and the word office have to be in the search term in order for it to trigger my ad. So what I'm talking about in this video is pure broad match, which would be using a phrase with no modification or plus in front of it. So I could use daily office space as a broad keyword in this uh, ad group. So this would be allowing Google to target all kinds of closely related terms uh, to the phrase daily office space. So using pure broad match keywords can be a powerful and dangerous uh, tool in your Google Ads campaign. So let me explain the three ways that I use them. And the first one's a little bit tricky and it's basically do not use broad match or pure broad match keywords. And I often don't use pure broad match keywords in new campaigns myself because sometimes they're just too much of a wild card. Um, so I'd rather have targeted keywords like I do in this ad group where I have um, some phrase match, exact match, and then the only broad match I'm using are modified so that they have to include certain words that are gonna guarantee that the search terms are closely relevant to uh, my keywords. So my recommendation again would be just don't use pure broad match, at least in the beginning. Uh, of your campaigns, but my next two tips are gonna show you how to use them in a more controlled way. So my second suggestion would be to use pure broad match in their own dedicated campaign. So I've seen some people call this a beta campaign, and I've done this myself in some accounts that are more advanced. Maybe I have a lot of negative keywords, maybe the conversion rate is good and the client just wants to get a lot more volume and we wanna be a little bit more aggressive. I might use a beta campaign where I just put a handful of broad keywords just to see what kind of volume we can get from it, what kind of results we can get. And also if you look in the search terms for a campaign like this, you're gonna get a lot of ideas for other uh, keywords that you could target in your other campaigns using uh, different match types other than pure broad match. So the reason we would put it in its own separate campaign is that we could then control the budget. And the pure broad match keywords aren't gonna cannibalize all of the budget uh, from the other keywords. And my third and final tip for how to use pure broad match keywords would be to use them sparingly in your existing campaigns. So for example, in this campaign, which I've been running for a long time, I have a lot of ad groups, and you can see it has 164 keywords that are active. I might just add one or two pure broad match keywords in one of these ad groups just to get a little bit more aggressive and expand the volume. So this is similar to the other tip of using a beta campaign that's separate and has its own budget, but this is just using one or two keywords in your existing campaigns that have a lot of keywords, so it's not gonna use too much of the budget. So in this case, I might go into one of these ad groups, like here's one for daily office, and I might just add the pure broad match keyword daily office. A lot of times I do like to have more than two keywords for broad match because if you have only two keywords, it might just get way too broad and Google's gonna target all kinds of things. So I might want a third word like daily hourly office or daily office Chicago or some other location that you're targeting. So if I were to add these two pure broad match keywords to this campaign uh, with again, 160 some keywords, these two uh, pure broad match keywords might end up getting 50% of the volume for the whole campaign. So if you do go a route like this, mixing the pure broad match into your existing campaigns, you're gonna wanna watch it really close in the first few days to see uh, what type of volume these pure broad match keywords are getting and also monitor the search terms to add negative uh, keywords so that you can kinda control uh, the reach of these pure broad match terms. So that's how I use pure broad match terms 
Hopefully you find that helpful. I'm going to link to my Google Ads playlist. You can check out some of my other videos there, and we'll see you on the next one.